Welcome back to Halls of Torment and today I want to show you how to reach level 100 with any character in this game because the question keeps coming up and it's actually relatively simple. So to begin with you want to have the lightning strike or the lightning balls. These are very very powerful weapons and incredibly helpful. In general as long as you get the lightning strike it doesn't really matter what happens for the rest of the game because this weapon alone can pretty much carry you and today I I need to finish the archer, which is kind of funny because the characters left for me are actually the ones that you get the first in the game, uh, talking about the archer and the swordsman. Oh, that is a nice pickup on the way. Now, early on, just focus on getting a little bit of movement speed, maybe, if it shows up. Otherwise, projectile amount is always great. Or area attack speed, there was movement speed, but I prefer the attack speed, just to get a few more kills here sometimes, because it does help out a lot. Crit is also incredibly helpful, because you want to have the light lightning strike crit a lot. There's an upgrade for the lightning strike that turns it into an AoE attack and that only happens on crits so you kind of want to make sure that you crit relatively often. There's even more crit, beautiful. Yeah, let's take that. Now all in all you may do exactly what I'm doing and you don't reach level 100, though that's a little bit hard to believe because the forgotten viaduct, it has a lot of enemies, a lot of experience and even though you may be missing a lot of achievements and achievements translate into bonus experience, so yes it does matter. It shouldn't matter all too much for you because you'll see at the end of the stage we'll actually have quite a high level, like it will be beyond 100. And all in all, like the moment you get lightning strike your run is set and after that I usually tend to just pick whatever shows up. The Kugel Blitz is amazing because it synergizes well with the lightning strike, that you can just go for upgrades that affect both of them. Um, damage on the main weapon I don't care, I'll actually take the movement speed here because the main weapon will not really do a majority of our damage, like it will still help a lot. But since we want to do this for all characters, we don't really want to focus too much on an individual character's weapon. Critical hit chance on the main weapon is actually big. And that will be good. I could have taken a movement speed as well, but I do like the crit, just to nuke some stronger enemies. Since a main part of how to do this will be, we want to stand still later on. So right now we will just move around all the time, and later on we'll just stand still and do nothing anymore. Now talking about the items, I'll quickly run them down. For the helmet I have the attack speed wind crown, which I think is an amazing item. It just gives you 50% bonus attack speed when there are a lot of enemies, and the times where you don't get it is when there are not that many enemies, so you also don't really care about the attack speed, right? Because there are not that many enemies to begin with. Then we have the hunter's garb as the chess piece, I think it is. Oh, this is good. Yeah, we want this as the first upgrade. Nice. Yeah, the Hunter's Garb, you want to stand still and then your weapons deal more damage, makes it easier to just wipe out the enemies. Here we have the Jade Amulet that gives you 50% bonus experience. We have the Guiding Star, which gives you attack speed, though to be fair, this is not needed. This is technically also not needed, but a very nice help. We have Crit Chance, this is just for the Lightning Strike and additional strikes and projectiles. The reason I chose that over when you don't attack with your main weapon, you deal more damage is is that we just want to hit more enemies. Like, overkill is a problem in this game where your weapons are so strong they would have killed the enemies either way. And I just want to hit more enemies to make sure that we kill as many of them as possible. Now, uh, there's a magnet. Oh, that is, that is a really good timing. Yeah, let me quickly take that. Attack speed, really big. You want to have as much attack speed as possible. Like, when I see attack speed, I usually always pick it because it just allows... Oh, that's also good, though. Let's go for the attack speed. It just allows you to kill way more enemies. And, yeah, that's pretty much all you want to do. Like, you want to kill as many enemies as possible. Now, this one here, one of those is fine. I'll pick the piercing for now because it will help me kill more enemies better than the crit. But what you want to look for in the lightning strike is mostly... Base damage is actually fine, but I'll take the movement speed. You mostly want to look for attack speed and for amount, that you shoot out more lightning strikes. The final weapon that I'm looking for, oh, that is perfect, yeah, additional strikes, there we go, beautiful. The final weapon that I'm looking for, I'm actually not 100% sure what I want there. Maybe the boomerang would be good, the uh, saw something is it, right? That is a very strong one. We could also go for the fire explosions, the comet. I kind of want to offer weapons that you easily get in this game, but to be honest, if you go for something like this, where you want to max out all the characters, it's kind of expected that you have most of the stuff unlocked, right? Because if you go in with 0% experience bonus, then yeah, don't expect to get level 100. It is possible if all things work out and everything goes right, but it's just way less likely and you should maybe focus on just, you know, unlocking things instead of going for level 100 characters. 
So one new thing that we could do, we could take these abilities, these traits, and get them to level 3, because then there's a chance they are offered in the ticket, and we are not forced into a weapon, but I care so little about the third weapon that I'll just take whatever. Like, yes, there are better weapons that you can get, and the text in the weapon may have actually been good there. There are better weapons that you can get as additional damage to the enemies, but most of those don't really matter. Like, you really don't need it. If you want to min-max it, yeah, then sure, let's do it, but I don't need it. But then again, I also got a majority of the achievements so i have a bonus there uh we just don't want weapons that are close to us and the ring blades yeah they are perfect this is amazing and now you'll also see how broken the ring blades are when you upgrade them one thing i love doing on them is oh firing frequency nice one thing i love doing on them is just going for as much amount as possible it's not even the best choice that you can do but it just means that there are so many of them flying around hitting all the enemies all the time electrified chance i don't care this is not bad but i'll go for range here it buffs up the ring blades as well how far they go out before they go back and we are just circling the boss here until we get a weapon level 3 attack speed on the main weapon is beautiful but yeah all in all as i said the priority is attack speed and amount into damage and then that's actually it there's nothing else but it's just important damage and cone size beautiful it's just important to know that attack speed and amount is way more important to make sure that you can hit as many enemies as possible oh wow this is one of the best upgrades you can get the blade size, damage, and cone size, because one issue of these ring blades is actually that they just end up not hitting enemies, you know? That's why I love the lightning strike so much, because it's very consistent. There is little that changes usually per run, and one thing you could even do is, you just take something like this here, that is level 3, we'll take the amount there, but you could take this level 3, so it's the only upgrade you have, and then you hope you already get the explosions. Once you have the explosions, you can focus a little bit more on crit to get it to 100%, uh, we have electrified chance, which I don't care about, so let's go for piercing, and it would actually be time to just stand still, yeah, I kinda ignore that always, but the 40% damage boost is quite nice, as you can see. Why do we even want to stand still? Like, what is the reason behind that? Now, I still don't have this confirmed, but it really seems to be the case. When you stand still and enemies die on top of each other, like, there already was experience on the floor, then it gives you bonus experience. Like, instead of just stacking it up where you see these things created, these little puddles of experience there, instead of just being two experience, it's actually four. And if that's the case, uh, that, that is really insane because you just doubled the experience that you would have gotten otherwise, right? So at one point you just want to stand still and let all the enemies die there and you have to find a sweet balance spot between do I still need to upgrade my weapons and should level up? huh? Or do I just stand still and do nothing anymore so the experience stacks up? Because if you upgrade the weapons and you get more kills sometimes. But if you're already strong enough then you don't need to do that and you should just stand still. So it's a tough balancing act where you just need to know what to do in this moment. Like am I strong enough? Am I too weak? Um, do I actually have something level 3? The ring blades are enough to evolve, the kugel blitz is not enough to evolve, but I really want to actually evolve the lightning strike, so I'm waiting a little bit before I pick up this ticket. Hmm, there should also be a new boss spawning soon, right, with a new ticket. So maybe it would just be better to pick up the upgrade right now so we get more experience. This boss is a little bit annoying right now. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit. 10% damage is huge though. Nice. Crit chance multiplier is also insane. You definitely want to have that. And um, there we go. Because now we can bump up the Kugel Blitz to 100%. Crit chance is okay. Not really what I wanted to have, but it's decent. And this is actually a very good example of when things don't work out. Like, we didn't get the stuff so far that I really want to have. The piercing on everything is okay. I'll just take the chest here. If you get something that gives you damage instead of the Jade Amulet, just take it while you stand still so you can equip it. Like, 5% damage for each. Yeah, that will never ever happen. This is pointless. When you die, the seal breaks and revives you. I don't have it retrieved so i'll pick it up but yeah that's like that's uh, doesn't really do a lot so just for you to understand at this point you could have already upgraded the lightning strike to have the explosions on crit and it would wipe out the enemies a lot faster but we don't have that so it's a very bad run but imagine even on this run if we get to level 100 wouldn't that be insane that is big okay just make them bigger like, most of my picks are just about, do we have enough coverage, or how do we increase coverage of masses of enemies? Like, 
<laughs> this is actually okay because it deals a lot more damage. I'll take it just to upgrade it. I rather prefer... Oh, uh, this is like the worst one to get. I'll take it because otherwise it can show up in the future again and mess up everything. But that is really not great. Uh, the issue being that we can only max out three of these abilities on this wave. So I can go for a different one, but then I can never ever upgrade it with a ticket. Okay, there's the next one. We have a chance to upgrade the ring blades. I think I'll just do it because otherwise I fall behind too much. Okay, can you just, just die please? And there we go. We got the piercing blades. Adds two projectiles per cycle. Additional blades do magic damage and can apply fragile. Really nice. They can't be blocked. So the guys that have shields, huge. And uh, do you see that? Every time we shoot out a normal one, we shoot out two of these purple pink ones. <laughs> Isn't this insane? And we need to make them bigger as well as adding more projectiles and attack speed is just crazy. So I'll still continue collecting everything because 20% uh, projectiles on all projectiles. Um, yeah, this will be a lot of fun, I have a feeling. And there we have base damage and crit, but I actually don't care. The range is good though. So range is when it goes out the very first time, how far it goes before it fires back. So that is also a very good one to just hit more enemies. Additional strikes on the lightning strike, beautiful. And usually it's more than enough that just at the end, like the last 15-10 minutes, you stand still and don't do anything at all. Uh, let me get that. I will walk back to the magnet. Now one thing I always like doing is, I just like having a magnet around and then at the end of the game, like when the boss spawns, I collect everything. More attack speed, beautiful. You still have to decide whether you want to just AFK next to the magnet and not do anything at all, or from time to time if you walk around and collect the experience that is there, which technically lowers the total amount of experience you get, but again it's a good old question of, if I get this, do I then end up killing way more enemies, which gives me more experience compared to stacking the experience on top of each other? And I think that's a complicated question, I would in general say, go at least to level 70 maybe? Like, uh, talking about uh, towards the end, before you stop ever picking up experience again, that you just have the upgrades for your weapons, especially the lightning strike, relies a lot on getting upgrades. Okay, let's go up here, we are about to hit the vacuum, that is very good. And now for the rest of the game, don't do what I usually do, please just stand still, do nothing at all, look at the boss getting nuked, this is how much damage we are having. And we have another upgrade, the high voltage or the crippling blades. This is a complicated one because high voltage is insane, but I will take the crippling blades for now just because it's so hilarious how many you shoot out. Look at this, now we have to... <laughs> isn't, it, isn't this insane? <laughs> Isn't this amazing? And the more range you get, the further they get shot out. So even when they go to the right side in the beginning, they would go to the end and not stop around here. Like, we want to have more range. And I will keep picking up experience whenever we hit an even number. So 18, 16, 14. The last 5 seconds of a wave, nothing spawns anymore. So this is a perfect time to collect everything. Oh, we have a vacuum on the floor. This is one amazing part about the ring blades. They just fly out so far that they destroy the breakables on the stage. And you can even just go around and collect that. Attack speed is huge. Let's go for that. Wait, how far is this away? Crit damage, sure. Wait, this looks like it's super far away. Because it has to be next to a wall, right? Let's actually go for pickup range here. It doesn't matter. Like, usually you don't want to have pickup range because you don't want to... Oh, well, these are all kind of bad, aren't they? We can go for another crit chance because I think right now we have yeah 65% crit. We need to bump this up a little bit. Base damage is okay. I don't like any in there, so I'll just pick it. And we have crit chance multiplier. I don't think we need more, right? Yeah, we already have one of those. You just want one because it's at 95% already. It will deal a huge amount of damage. Like the way I view the Kugel Blitz is pretty much it's mainly there. Okay, let's just take it. It's mainly there to just kill the strong enemies that the lightning ring can't kill. And Additional strikes, beautiful, there we go. Wait, how far down is this magnet? Wait, what? <laughs> Do the ring blades still fly all over the map? Okay, if kill 50,000 gargoyles, that's nice. Uh, interesting, okay. But yeah, do you see how ridiculous this entire thing is? And this is why I also want to keep leveling up every two minutes and collect all the experience until like the last, let's say, 10 minutes, okay? There will also be the Hydra spawning, and this is where I like to collect everything to just clear out the Hydra very fast, like get all the level ups that we can still get, because we want to make sure that like, we don't move around too much, which is ironic because I keep moving around, but again, it's a question, what is worth more standing still, or would it be better if you had more damage 
range right now and the enemies wouldn't even get to fly around. There are other abilities that you can take, just take anything that pretty much gets shot out. So something like the fire explosions that get thrown around, is it called volcano or something like this, eruption or so, is insane. The golem is relatively bad because rolling around barely kills enemies. The balls circling you are also really bad because they are so far in that they rarely ever end up hitting enemies, like the masses, again it's all about mass clear. You want to have this number go as high as possible. And that also means most of the abilities that just shoot out from your character into the direction you aim or next to you, they are not very good because, well, they are just next to you. You know, they, they don't reach the enemies. So yeah, now we're just waiting for the final five seconds. We are about to be there and let's get all the experience. There we go. Crit chance and cone size. I, I'm, I'm really not a fan of it, but I guess to just increase its damage. Usually you don't want to take them, but I'm not going to question it all too much. Okay, this is like, this is ridiculously bad. You just want to have things that make everything bigger. Defense and block strength sounds good. And there is another boss. Crit damage is huge. Nice. The boss is a little bit difficult because I don't have bonus HP here, I think. Or at least no regeneration. So I have to be a little bit careful. And <laughs> there's a lot going on. Firing frequency is huge. Okay, there we go. Let's just focus this down. This is big. This is big. Just make the ball bigger. Nice. I almost walked into that. Okay, he, he kind of missed there. Yeah, that, that was it. G good job, Mr. Boss. <gasps> okay, so this is now very interesting. I will put this into the bag for now, but if we get more bonus HP, or in general, when we stand still, you can exchange the Jade Amulet with the damaging one that I just got there, and you will have a little bit of bonus damage. And the more HP you have, like depending on which character you play, some of them reach a lot of HP, the more valuable this becomes. So let's say right now here, I don't collect any experience, right? I can just exchange these, get 6% bonus damage, and um, I would just be able to kill all the enemies easily. And this would just be a little boost to my damage. Obviously, if I was on low HP, it would be a lot higher. And yeah, I, I like doing that, so whenever I see that, I just pick it. Even if there's something in there I haven't retrieved yet, but need to reach level 100. The only thing that could go wrong here is uh, that you forget to equip the Jade Amulet again before you collect experience. And yes, this has happened to me. So sometimes it's just better like do you really care about the six percent this equipment seems to be multiplicative all of them meaning the 40 percent and this one they are not additive like added on top but they are multiplied which is a big difference okay that's way 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 better than being additive so yes it does matter and yes it would be great to just lose a lot of hp for like 30 percent bonus damage or even more but i don't really care because do you see how many enemies are surviving yeah even these statues that are really tanky because they barely take any damage uh, they just end up dying very quickly if you care about the damage of everything here you can see it right now the ring blades are definitely pulling in their weight the bow as well but mostly because it has so much damage overkill damage and the lightning strike this one needs to be upgraded asap like it, it hurts a little bit that it's not exploding yet this is one of the early things you want to do and i still haven't done it in this run but i think it shows the pure power of taking these abilities if we still manage to get to level 100 and we didn't even get the main upgrade that i wanted to have big yeah yeah, exactly big that <laughs> i didn't even see that that is exactly what was on my mind there oh that is huge uh we will not actually okay the damage is fine yeah let's take that because we crit a lot either way and base damage that's not what i want to have oh my god electrified chance is this guaranteed to always be that I kind of feel like some levels they are predetermined like that you can choose two either it's electrified chance or it's base damage uh, but do you see how even when we walk through the enemies and we don't have our bonuses there that we still kill a majority of them or pretty much all of them only the ones that are the furthest away are a little bit hard to kill okay but there we go yeah talking about forgetting to equip the jade amulet yeah <laughs> you know what <laughs> I'll just not equip it anymore. I'll just I'll just keep it equipped. I just used a vacuum with a ton of experience and um, yeah, that just happened. Hey again, if you reach level 100 here, then this would just show how busted this is and how easy it is. And you can do this with any character. Just get the lightning strike, just get the Kugel Blitz. Kugel Blitz is not mandatory, but synergizes so well. Because one is an AoE clear and the other one is like, yeah, I'm gonna kill whatever is left over. And the ring blades are nice, but again, you don't need the ring blades. Like, you could go for for something else but it's a great additional weapon imagine spending the entire intro talking about how great an upgrade is and that you want to get it asap and i'm 18 minutes in and i still don't have it 
<laughs> I even wasted the crit on it. Like, crit is not needed to make the lightning strike good. It's literally... Ch this is also big. Okay, yeah, sure, let's take that. Oh, attack speed and cone size, beautiful. Like, it's only needed for the explosions, because every crit triggers the explosions, and okay, our ring blades are going insane. Oh, are you seeing that? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, sure. More movement speed. We don't really care about that, but I'll take it to move around a little bit faster. Uh, there we go. Yeah, attack speed on the ring blades is also insane. <laughs> <laughs> Look how many we are shooting out. Oh, this is beautiful. Don't stand too close to the magnet, okay? Because otherwise the experience accumulates around it. And when you just want to gather experience, it's hard to get it. Please. Oh, man. I st oh, okay, sure. <laughs> Will this be the final upgrade that we get the explosions? Like the very last one? No, wait. Wait, is it already the last one? I think there's one more left for the Kugel Blitz and one more left for the Lightning Strike. This one we have double upgraded. Oh, God. Just saying, we have only oh, a bit more than 10 minutes left, and do you see a lot of enemies here? Like, there's sometimes some flying in the gargoyles, and that's it. But, uh, yeah, look at the damage numbers. Do you see how fast they're going up? It's not what we see on our screen here, right? Um, yeah, that's because our lightning strike and all of our weapons, to be fair, are killing the enemies outside, and we don't even get to see them. That is insanity, and you don't even need the main attack of your character. This is where you could turn it off and just get the 66% bonus damage, but in my opinion, having more projectiles is worth a lot more, because you end up hitting more enemies. And again, rarely the damage is the problem, because you just one-shot, like there was a 5.4k damage crit. Look at this, look at this. Do you need more damage? Or 5.9k? Why is this going up more? That is good. That is okay. I'll take that. Maybe I should have taken the firing frequency, but I actually believe that one was better. So yeah, now we are, I think, at a point where we rarely ever get a good upgrade. Like, I think we got everything right. Yeah, we are already at level 90, by the way. So this kind of just shows how insane it is. Oh yeah, there's the Hydra. Uh, do you see how quickly it dies? Um, yeah. <laughs> The electrified damage that builds up and the damage of our weapons is just nuts. Uh, there we go. I don't think we have to guess whether or not I'll reach level 100. I mean, we have like seven and a half minutes left and I'm level 96, okay? <laughs> Let's take a look at the damage quickly. Okay, so this deals 1.3 million, 2.1 million, 6 million, but it's total damage. So what we care about more is rather the max DPS, how much damage they can reach. And yeah, the bow is definitely a solid weapon. It helps a lot, but again, you, you don't need it. Oh my god, look at the hordes of enemies. These are so tanky, but it doesn't matter. We just killed them. <gasps> okay, there's my lightning strike upgrade. Oh, that was quick. Nine! Ugh! Um... Okay, we, we don't have the lightning strike upgrade. There is one more boss that spawns, I'm pretty sure. But, um... <laughs> I like that I started the entire video with, yeah, this is so important that you get that. Yeah, there it is. Okay, there's the dude. Ah, oh, finally we have the upgrade. Imagine we don't get it. There it is. Look at the amount of explosions now, by the way. It's a little bit hard to see, but our lightning strike here has 70% crit. You can even bump this up a tiny bit more, but this just means that, yeah, this has a 100% and this has a 110%. Oh, that was a little bit too much, maybe. Yeah, but 70% chance to cause an explosion, which just means that way more enemies get hit and it's so much easier to clear them. I actually really can't believe that the final upgrade you got is the lightning strike AoE attack. Which you want to have early on because the enemies are a lot weaker and the AoE does not that much damage, I think at least. Do we maybe sometimes see an explosion? It's a little bit hard because the enemies keep dying like crazy. Look at the, <laughs> look at the number going up. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't know how much damage the explosion deals if it's the the explosion itself that gets applied Like if we deal a 5.4 K crit if all of the enemies take 5.4 K or if it's way less um, but, but yeah, 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 the enemies are dying like flies So here we can see now that the Kugel Blitz finally got its main upgrade the DPS shot up like crazy Remember when I said the the, the lightning it causes the attack on the enemies is insane on it. Yeah, um, 11k damage 5.9k don't expect this to be a lot higher in the future ring blades also insane and now you can see the bow is it really doesn't matter This is just AOE clear. Uh, can we see the sapping? Yeah, look at this. Do you see how it shoots out these sappings attacks? And they are insane to reach enemies it would otherwise not reach and just nuke them. Or singular tanks that it rolls over, you know? It just goes and kills them. Okay, that. Oh my god, look at the amount of enemies dying. 
Well, I just saw that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just reached 20k here. You can get way more if you get the explosion of the lightning strike early on. I, I keep repeating myself, but what always happens in these videos is, Oh yeah, Dex, I did exactly what you did there, and I had lightning strike evolved as the last one as well, and I ended on level 91. Yeah, but like, I kept saying, don't do that, okay? I have a majority of all of the achievements in the game, that means I get bonus experience. Like, if you have 50% of all achievements, you get 50% bonus experience. So if you don't have that, and then you also do something suboptimally, like it happened to me, instead of resetting the run, then you can't expect to have the same result. Oh my god, the Kugelblitz just took over the ring blades here. Oh my god, wow. <laughs> that is insane. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we have high damage increase on it, right? Yeah, 104. The crit bonus is only 100%, which is like, nah, don't really care about that, but 100% crit is so nice. Oh, wow. Isn't this beautiful? I actually want to walk down a little bit and check out how much is there. Once we are at the end and all the enemies die. There are also ghosts incoming very soon. And they will push us towards the center of the map. And there are two ways how you can deal with them. Number one, you walk through them. Because they will end up killing you. Number two, you just go to the middle of the map and accept that you'll die. Um, okay, there they are. Yeah... I mean, let's just walk to the middle of the map. How much experience is there? There's so much experience, oh my god. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll just be forced to walk upwards. It's okay. They do get pushed away, which is nice. That actually delays them. That means we should be fine, I assume. Like, yeah, okay, look at this. Oh my god, the ring blades. They... Or is it our main weapon? No, I think it's the ring blades, maybe. Uh, fire area. Right, that is something that you get after you upgrade the lightning strike, and we never could upgrade that. Okay, so, there's the boss, let's just go for the, whatever we get, fire affinity is good, I guess, fire affinity is good, I guess, and the rest is just, yeah, a little bit of health, the help, there we go. And the boss kill will be super easy. Like, you'll see this is this is a joke with these weapons. Maybe not as good with the ring blades. There are better weapons to do this with. Okay, we are level 111, by the way. <laughs> I'll just take whatever here. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, we, we got everything except for one here. So, 120 and everything is maxed out in the game. Like, only health regeneration was left with 9 level ups. Like, it was on level 1 and then we stopped leveling up. Uh, yeah, and there's the final boss. So, how long will this take? Actually, it will take a decent amount of time, I'm noticing. Ah, to be fair, this dude is really tanky. And the main issue is rather that the additional things he spawns, they... they take your projectiles, like your weapons aim at that, and they waste their attacks on them instead of on the boss, you know? And that's a little bit annoying. I, I wish that would be changed, that they are just untargetable, because our lightning strike is just wasting its entire attacks. Even our Kugelblitz is flying around, aiming at other random enemies. Um, actually, for the Kugelblitz, I'm not sure. But yeah, how many times do you see a lightning strike ending up on the boss? It's super rarely. Oh yeah, and 26k kills. That is, that is a solid value. I like that. <laughs> careful, careful. It's almost dead. It's almost dead. And... Uh, yeah, there we go. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, so that was it. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you managed to reach level 100 on whoever you want to play. If you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. See you the next time.